What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So a lot of you guys know that I've actually been playing NASCAR Heat 4 and just like kind of doing different challenges and stuff like that. Um, I did pick up NASCAR Heat 4 as you guys can see right now and uh, I want to know do you guys want me to do like a career and follow through like the whole career? Obviously not making it like the primary thing on the channel. It's not going to be like every day you're going to see NASCAR Heat videos, but do you guys want me to play a career, kind of do videos like this so you guys can kind of see what exactly is going on with me playing video games outside and just kind of having some of that as like filler content. I will say I like the overall layout of this game so much better, but I'm actually going to create my own car. Now I have created some cars in here. Just, I got the game a couple days ago, started playing it. Um, I want to like design like an actual car, which you guys will actually see right now. I kind of did like a Michael Waltrip style car. Kind of go around here so you guys can see. I will say that the overall creating a car concept in this game is a lot better than previous NASCAR heat games. I mean, it's not, it, and, and I get like the legality of everything. I wish there was more sponsors. I wish there was more ability to add like your own vinyl decals almost like almost like a forza style like being able to make your own like custom decals wraps putting things together i wish you could do that uh maybe eventually nascar heat will get to that point but what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go back let's see here we want to do the monster energy cup i didn't even look at what the fords look like i'm assuming it's a mustang i mean because that's what they run now so while this loads, obviously you guys know that I'm a major Chevy fan. I mean, yeah, uh, the Mustang looks good, but it's it's not a Camaro. So we're going to go back here and we're going to create a Camaro. And go from there. So just kind of bear with me here for a little bit. This is my first video doing like the video game with me being on like the screen, kind of like not streaming, but like similar setup. So as much as I like my Michael Waltrip replica car, let's go back and uh, let's figure out what kind of, I guess, see, I like to figure out my sponsors first. So uh, we can do Napa, we can do all sorts of different sponsors. I love the fact that you can like do a Mountain Dew. The problem that I had with the Mountain Dew is like, I wish it was just the cutout of the Mountain Dew, kind of like the Hooters here. There's not like the massive, block around it i wish you were able to do that but unfortunately you can't i did like the can-am look but some of these other ones i'm not like the biggest fan of when it comes to trying to make a car so before i do my paint scheme and stuff like that i want to figure out what sponsors i want thought about doing a valvoline car but no matter what way that i do a valvoline car i'm going to try to make it look like mark martin so i kind of want to like do something that's not like super super common you can do gatorade see this is what i'm saying about i wish there was more sponsors i mean the napa i see i love the look of this napa car but that's not what we're here for i think i'm going to go with either can-am or mac tools do a mac tools car so we'll put mac tools on the front the side let's see what the hell for the side let's do let's do can-am on the side we might have to go back and change that up but then on the rear quarter Go ahead and do Mac Tools. What's up, Bubby? On the back. I'm gonna keep Gatorade on the back there, just just for kind of shits and giggles, I believe. Let's check out Mac Tools. Just see what it looks like on the back. I don't want to do too much Mac Tools, so we'll keep Gatorade on the back and then the rear. Honestly. I'm gonna leave it blank for right now and then just kind of figure out what we wanna do after the fact because sometimes the cleaner look in the rear is better than just kind of throwing whatever on the back. So let's leave that blank for right now. Let's go to number, let's go to numbers first. I'm not going to run 
D15, I'm actually gonna figure out my own number that I wanna run for this. And uh, I'm gonna roll with number 94. I loved Bill Elliott. Um, so Bill Elliott's 94. I wish, I wish you could actually run like kind of more than just three different types of number fonts. Um, like the, the one that they run on the 99, which you guys will see here in a second. Like I wish I could run, I wish I could run that right there as 94 instead of being limited to this, this, or this. I think I'm gonna run with this for right now and uh, see what we like after that. I think that with this car, I want our primary color to be black. Either black or white, depends on Honestly, the white doesn't look bad. Let's run with black for right now. I wanna change up kind of the different things. Well, I guess maybe I should go back through here and show you guys. So we could do a solid black. I think the solid black looks tough, just being honest. Solid black looks pretty dope. But going through different paint schemes here, some of them are very creative. I Like I said, my biggest thing was like, I wish you could just do your own like adding things like Forza where you can just you can add different shapes and stuff like that and change the colors and, and make your own different style of everything that doesn't look terrible I'm not a huge fan of the side but that one's one we can go back to kind of like this I'm not not a huge fan of the solid color like that in the back but maybe we can incorporate something to work that out i do like the stars on the side let's just see here real quick if we change the side decal here to actually the gray doesn't look bad but let's see what white looks like and then let's change the roof in the back to black see in my opinion that doesn't look too bad that doesn't look bad at all but we'll keep going and go from there. So obviously I, I do like this one right here. Not not the greatest paint scheme in the world, but e wow, actually, hang on here. That looks freaking awesome. Maybe change colors around. Like we were talking about, we were kind of torn between the black and the white. That looks pretty good. Let's see here, what if we change the white, the black, and the black, the white there. How's that look going around? Well, let's, if we, if we would opt to run that, I would want to change the color on the side of the numbers, maybe to red. Let's see how that looks. The only, I guess the only thing that bugs me with this is the Mac tools on the rear quarter panel being red. I don't like that the red accent is there. Let's see. You put white there and change this white to red. And then change the numbers back to white. I think regardless, the only thing that kills this paint scheme is the fact that the Mac tools doesn't, I wish the red of the Mac tools was a little bit more popping, I guess you could say. Cause even, even though on the hood, like the comparison to the red on the side of the car in comparison to the hood, I wish the Mac tools was a little bit brighter, but that's one paint scheme we can roll with. That's kind of like your traditional, it's more, more kind of plain Jane. That's not, these aren't really something I'm super looking for. So I think we're gonna roll with this right here. I think I'm going to change this back to white. Change my numbers back to red. Which stripe number two, where's that change? Oh, that changes the back. Okay, there we go. That's a good way to make that sucker pop right there. Changing that to black. Maybe we go with the gray. 
that makes it pop a little bit more. That that actually makes a little bit more sense there. Overall, I kind of like that. Let me just see if there's any other alternative here. I mean, these are more fluorescent kind of neon style colors. No, I, I like that. I, let's go back and move that to black. I like that. I, I think that that overall, especially because we're going to be doing a lot of videos probably running online, we can use this as kind of like our base is like, okay, this, this could be a, a solid looking decent car to run online. Now, I have seen some people running some like, my opinion, just kind of like really nasty looking paint schemes. I think this right here looks pretty freaking cool. Let's zoom in a little bit. I like that. If I was an NASCAR driver, I would run that. The Can-Am on the side isn't as amplified. Let's, let's go over here and maybe see if there's another decal to put on the side that would make a little bit more sense. Could definitely run something with a red accent. Love's not the greatest there. Woo! What's up, dude? How you doing? I love you. Let's see. Let's see how Reem looks on the side. All right, I like that right there. If we go to rim style now, do we run a solid black? There's a different solid black right here. Do we go a little ballsy and run a red? See, I feel like wheels make or break a car, no matter what kind of vehicle, car, truck, whatever the case may be. I, I like the red here. Let's see what else they got a red with a yellow stripe. Even that doesn't look terrible. Go solid white. How's the solid white look? Nah, that looks too plain Jane. Go a little out there and do the yellow. Yellow is not, we have some yellow accents with the Goodyear on the tires and the mechanics and Goodyear sticker, but I don't think that justifies running yellow completely on there. I think I might, maybe even a gray, let's see what gray looks like. Nah, still too plain. I think we might run, let me just take a look here at the red again. Red or solid black. I'm gonna have to go with the solid black here, guys, and run with it like that. Overall, this is a nice paint scheme. I'm sorry if this video wasn't the greatest video out there. I'm just getting a feel for this game, just kind of kind of getting a grasp of like every feature and every aspect of this game. I will say in comparison to previous NASCAR paint boosts, this is pretty awesome. The fact that I can make a car look this good, I mean, that's, that's pretty phenomenal. Um, if you guys want to see more content of NASCAR Heat 4, you guys want to see me run online, you guys want to see me make more paint schemes, even if you guys have recommendations of paint schemes, drop a comment down below and uh, maybe let me uh, put this on the track real quick and that's how we'll wrap off today's video. Join us on our journey to 10,000 subscribers. We have less than 5,000 to go. So I'm going to put this sucker out on the track real quick, let you guys finish off the video watching it out on the track and uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. I also created a character, and who is that freaking handsome stud right there? A little bit off, but I would say that, that that's pretty damn close. That car looks pretty sick. Let's get it out on the track. Let's run it at... Let's go back to Darlington, man. We're going to run it at Darlington, let you guys see the car on the track, and that's where we'll wrap up today's video. Not gonna adjust anything with the car set up, just gonna run it on practice out on the track. Let's get a good look at this. A pretty tough looking car right there. Let's go out, just make a couple passes. I will say just from like running online a couple times, I have won a race online already. Um, 
some of the some of the stuff, man, there are some freaking dipshits out there that are just trolling. And uh, I'm just trying to race, to be honest with you. Some of these guys are out here just literally trying to wreck, and I'm just I'm just trying to run and make a make a good time, get a feel for the game. I love that on this game though, like you can feel bumps in the track, like you no know, other game before. It almost gives you like almost like that eye racing feel of the actual real feel of the track. Let's see here, Is that Logano. Sneak down on the bottom of the track here. Do a little bit of burnout right here. And I'll see you guys in there.